Hi everyone, welcome back to this Tosca playlist and we are talking about the API testing. Now in all the previous sessions, we have already seen how you can work with API testing in Tosca using API scan and also the Tosca commander to create API test cases and also verify your APIs. But today uh, we are going to look at some of the different options which are now available, especially uh, on the authentication side, right? So we have looked at some of the authentication mechanisms which are available in Tosca. But today uh, I'm going to show you with specific examples on how you can use this authentication types, okay? So the authentication type, uh, which is the basic one or the first you can say also is the basic authentication, right? And as the name suggests, this uh, Authentication is used for APIs where you have to pass a username and password before you can authenticate a particular request. Okay. So for this purpose, um, I'm going to create a API message. Okay. I have already created a folder. You can see authentication and then this is the new message. Okay. I'm going to name it basic uh, auth. Okay. And then um, in this endpoint, I'm going to use a particular uh, API message. Okay? And for this purpose, I'm going to use one of the sample uh, APIs provided by Postman. And this uh, is to test the basic authentication. Obviously, you can use any API, okay, where uh, you need a basic authentication, which is basically a username and password, okay, any API which is protected by a username and password, you can use that endpoint. But I'm going to use this particular endpoint. So it is called postman echo.com and slash basic auth. Okay, so I'm going to use this particular endpoint. And then uh, we, let's first uh, check whether we get uh, any response back when we send this without any authentication. Okay, let's see whether it is protected or not. So let's try and run this and let's see what is the response for this particular request. Okay, so as expected, uh, I'm getting a 401 unauthorized, right, uh, for status code. And in the payload, I'm getting unauthorized, which means uh, I'm not authorized to basically access this particular API, right? And I need to provide uh, some authentication, which should be, um, present in the request, okay, and it will be sent back to the server so that uh, it can authorize that particular request and then send the response back, okay? So now let's go back to the request and this time around, let's try with authentication basic, okay? Uh, you will find it here. And in the username and password, so I'm going to pass the username and the password. Okay, so um, now uh, we have provided the authentication. Now let's go ahead and run this again once more. And let's see whether this time around it can authorize this particular request. Okay. So as you can see, this time around uh, the status code was 200. Okay. And also we got a response uh, payload, which is authenticated true. So this way you can use the basic authentication in Tosca API scan to authenticate your request using a username and password. So this is one of the most common uh, authentication mechanisms used for APIs, right? And then there are other um, API messages which use different types of authentication mechanisms, okay? So in the next session, uh, I'm going to also show you how you can use another authentication type and which is the digest authentication, okay? So that's all for this session. Hope it was useful um, and you learned something new. So in the next session, as I said, I will be talking about another authentication type, which is digest authentication. So do tune into our channel to watch the new video. And if you're not subscribed, then do subscribe so that you get notified whenever I add this particular video. Until then, keep watching and keep learning.